Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Java and if you need to have Java to work in software development. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a bit of a story and it went, Frederick, we have to learn Java in school at the moment. When I heard it was coming up, I was disappointed, but then I thought I would try, I would still try to do my best and learn object oriented practices and be ready for the job market. However, I got into programming through messing with Arduinos and switching to Ubuntu to save money and later making making socket IO games in TypeScript. I always pictured all program, programming to be either hardware intuitive like C or very time efficient or and productive like JavaScript. Now I spent two days at school just trying to get Java and NetBeans run. Oh shit dude, are you using NetBeans? running on everyone, just to get that running on everybody's computer, to no avail. People report their s systems crashing almost every day. I'm shocked by the amount of GUI tools in the IDE, even more shocked that they really need, I really need to use them. I feel I can't handle switching between text and GUI logic all the time. And I'm shocked at how un installing an unrelated software on the computer can break the whole IDE. Pro I don't know what you've done to. I mean, I I I'm not a super fan of NetBeans, but the, you something's going on here. And NetBeans not gonna fuck up your entire computer. I am shocked how tiny actions can have big consequences. But most of all, I'm maximally demotivated by how many files you have to create checkboxes and GUI menus to ha you have to traverse and how much code you have to write to get a simple CRUD web app going. Please Frederick, tell me, can I have a good career in software development without knowing Java? <sighs> I mean shit, it was an ordeal to just get through this message and I feel for this guy. My friend, I'm gonna tell you what you want to hear. No. You don't have to know Java to get a career in software development. You can relax. I promise you. And if anybody says that's not the case, let me walk you through what the reality of the situation is. So, you will, if you've watched any of my other... Like, because this... I hope you see that there is a trend in a lot of the questions that I get relating career things and that is number one, like the number one question is do I need a degree to be a software developer and the second thing is which language should I pick? That's like 90% of like in some fashion what I try to answer. So when I try to answer the question of what language should you pick I usually tell you the truth or I try to say, tell the truth at least from my perspective the world has favorites in terms of languages when it comes to careers and one of the most popular career options is Java because of the adoption in big enterprise development and web and so forth not just web but primarily web and that means just that Java is very popular in the job market but there is a shit ton guys a shit ton of companies who don't use Java. It's a similar th topic that I needed to clarify way back when I was still walking around outside and freezing my my ass, like my hand was like almost dying from holding up my phone in that cold Swedish weather that we have 360 days a, a year. And I was trying to explain the difference between like, when the, the battle between React and Angular. And I was trying to explain that if you're in second place, just because one thing is popular, that more popular than the other, if we were talking about the different service and so forth, that doesn't mean that you are bad. Because we, I'm sorry, but we li seem to live in some weird, uh, I don't know, dystopia where if you are the second best at something, you're basically crap. That's it, how it is. If you're a silver medalist, you're not worth anything because you're not the gold. And that's just not true. And it's the same thing with, with when it comes to programming languages. The fact that Java is among the most popular, it's not the most popular because that's very regional languages for job purposes, doesn't factor out all the other languages that are out there. The thing that you should always consider is what does the job postings state? in your part 
of the world. If you are aware of that Java is the most popular one and you don't want to work in Java, that doesn't mean that that's me that doesn't necessarily mean that you don't get a job. It just means that the vast majority of like the most popular jobs that are out there or rather the, the largest pool of job opportunities it may not be something for you, but the pool is much bigger than just Java. There's tons of stuff. Once again, remember, I always say this, check your region, check the job postings and do a little bit of research. It literally is as easy as going to whatever, literally whatever what job site you use, input the language name and see how many hits you get and that's gonna be it that's practically what you need to do to kind of figure out like get a rough bear a rough understanding of how things are looking in your region the thing i want to mention to you however is that if you hate java you are not alone there are so many people who hate java for very many of the same reasons that you mentioned here like uh, there's a standing joke that uh, if you were to uh, it, it, the best thing in the world, if you get paid by the line of code or you get evaluated by the amount of lines of code you have to write, Java is going to make you rich. <clears throat> it's the it's the uh, the um, the consultant's favorite because of the amount of time it takes to actually do anything meaningful. That's not really true and very mean, but I think it's funny because it's sort of true sometimes. And I just want you to understand one thing, and that is that thing I was hinting about. There are many options out there. Java is not the only thing. There's tons of stuff going on. But if your goal is to be a professional grade software developer, you should be open to the idea that the language that you pick, I mean you can absolutely, I mean if you're interested in as in this case it's like TypeScript there's or JavaScript, there's going to be a lot of different opportunities for you. Same thing like if you're interested in C, there's a lot of opportunities related to that as well because it's a I mean it's a big language but don't get yourself I, I, I really urge you to do that like don't get yourself into a headspace where the language that you pick is more important than the problems that you are solving you don't have to go into Java you don't have to work in C, C sharp or something similar if you don't want to but remember you have to go and uh, fish where people where where there are fish so if the only thing available in your region is Java what are you gonna do are you gonna move somewhere else are you gonna start working remote all of these are options to you but sometimes you kind of have to make a, a way off between the stack that you want to work with and the availability of jobs and benefits and projects and so forth in your region because I mean just because you work in your favorite language doesn't necessarily mean that you're better off than if you're working in something that is okay to work in but might pay more or might be a more interesting and more developing experience and so forth sometimes uh, you can get a little bit, uh, people can tend to get a little bit too focused on the language and to each his own but i think that you should think bigger than that so what I want you to take away from this is that if you hate Java, join the club. There are so many people who hate Java. Sometimes it's warranted, sometimes it's not. But if you don't want to work in Java, you don't have to. Nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna force you to do it. To do it, you're gonna be able to go into all of the frat parties where all the cool C and C++ developers and the Ruby developers and like, I don't know, the Go developers and so forth. All of these guys, they kind of just hold their own, uh, hold each other around the shoulder and sing together and talk about how horrible Java is in every single way. And they are making money. I promise you they are making money and there are jobs for all of these guys and girls. So don't worry, Java is not the only thing out there, but I urge you to as you progress through your career, be a little bit open to the idea that sometimes having the perfect stack is not as important as having the right environment and working with the right people on the right project. That might actually in some cases be a much more important thing than the specific language that you are dealing with. Have a great day.